Yep, yeah, I'll try. <laughs> Ska vi? Ja, det är lite uppförsbacke på dig. Ja. Push, push! In. David, what's going on here? We are putting on the Samsona sequential uh, gearbox. Yes! This nice piece. Sequential, huh? Six speed? Six speed. Yes. Nice. So we're gonna bring life back to this uh, 2J powered S14. Johan Skogsby. No. David Skogsby. Drifting. <laughs> Flywheel and the new one. Very nice shifter and special joke. Joke. J with front sump. David before used um, five speed uh, Samsonas gearbox but with um, H pattern and now it will be sequential. Point one. We're measuring the clutch, the release bearing. Yeah, the distance for it. Let's see if we can get. In a sense, for the first one, the lever is also for mapping. The auto, auto drive is back. It's good. Are you the test driver, Johan? Yes, I'm the test driver. Need to keep the SPF license for the driving on the track. <laughs> Gearbox is just test fitted in here to measure the, the drive shaft, how long it's gonna be, gonna be a new drive shaft and also of course we have um, put the blanket under the nice gearbox so we don't scratch it, the black uh, anodized housing so it looks, still looks nice. Here we also have a new fuel filter, very nice, installed on, 
under here. So uh, always keep clean fuel to the engine for the Bosch 1500cc injectors that's inside here. And it's a vice fab in the front here with BC racing coilovers. And just remove the gearbox now and we have test fitted the clutch. It's a nice sax race engineering clutch that holds up very very good. Usually used uh, tilt on clutches but um, this one holds much better than the other ones. And one cool thing I noticed the input shaft for gearbox was stuck here when I removed it so the it's actually detachable, the input shaft of this Samsonas gearbox. That's good, then you don't need to have any extra centering uh, pin. You can just use the, ones, the one from the gearbox. Hydraulic throughout bearing. I will do some wiring to um, wire up the gear position sensor and also the strain gauge for the lever. It was a very nice shifter, this one, very lightweight, you can see, machined, even the knob that is round uh, for a very nice feeling grip for the hand is drilled out in the middle, so it's very lightweight. And uh, for this we're gonna attach one of these KA sensors for um, lever force, so we know when to make a um, cut in the um, un to, to unload the engine it was also included one of these um, gear displays because it's a built-in uh, gear position uh, sensor in, in inside the gearbox I hope I can um, take this signal also to the ECU so we can have the gear position in the ECU and then we can have some closed loop uh, cut control. I'm doing some wiring here for the um, gear indicator. So we have some instructions here and I'm doing it waterproof. I'm using these um, Deutsch DTM connectors. They're plastic but they're very durable. And they're very tight and they're very, for, for, for the cost of them, they are really good compared to the alum, aluminum ones, the mil spec ones. These are really good. And I do put labels on, on everything here so it's easy to see where this should go. Gear position sensor, everything should have a label. Even if the owner knows which connector goes where. It's good for all the mechanics and everything. You don't have to think. You just put it where it should be. Gear display. Okay, it goes to the gear display. Very cool. New drive shaft from Suya. Suya Kord. Suya Kordan.
okay now the gearbox is installed in the car everything looks good and uh, we're gonna start it up and see if it's working the gear shifter everything is in place here oh. Uh, the Samsona shifter here and also the um, display here, gear display, a little bit temp temporary installed there so you can see. And also the ECU which is inside here, you can see it's a Wipec ECU, it's the same as Link ECU, they are the manufacturer of them. I put some new firmware into the box so it handles this uh, sequential gearbox and can make uh, closed loop uh, shifts so it detects if a gear is um, in or not and then apply power again so we can uh, have a longer life for the gearbox and quicker shifts back here we're gonna fill some water and uh, the radiator is back here and the water pump and also there's a fuel cell it's a nuke and it was a little bit too high so it's modified as you can see cut here nice and clean also we need to do some adjustment here Bye. 